Hey fam, how's it going? As you know who I am, it is Coach Paul coming at you guys. All right, so another Trader Tip Tuesday coming at you. All right, so today I wanna to cover the topic of bicep curls, you know, those biceps, these things right here, ah, how to do it. Um, so bicep curls, guys. Every time they're always performing some bicep curls, there's always a common few mistakes that uh, clients are commonly making. And that's one or two things. The first thing, suppose you see me standing, guys, not good posture at all already. So, rolling those shoulders back, step out as so you see a side of you of this camera. Now, even though the palms are starting facing each other, now I'm gonna turn back facing you. When you come up to this curl, when you come up about three quarters, when I say three quarters, as soon as you start to rotate your hands in front of hip pockets, that's where these palms must stay up. And if you notice from the side, the elbows, they do not go too far forward here. Common mistakes we see is this. Also as well, we see a swing in action. This is by mindlessly doing this or throwing the back with this. Those are cheating. Those are not good bicep curls. So the one thing that you want to, or a couple pointers you want to focus on with these bicep curls. All right, first things first. We're gonna stand nice and tall, slight bend these knees, soft bend always, no matter what. Shoulders roll back, chest is out, engage that core. As you come up to the top of this bicep curl, squeeze as hard as you can. Now, these palms must be facing towards those shoulders, and these wrists must be straight as possible. From that side of you, get a little bit closer. Now, when I come up to the top of this curl, my palms come up and I finish about, about you could say, three quarters of the way up past that parallel at 90 degrees. If you think about it, that's probably about 75 right there. We're at 90 coming up here. That's the finishing point for your bicep curls. Even if you start with the palms facing up, there's still a slight bend, but elbows are back, shoulders are rolled back, chest out. Now palms are always stay facing up, top of a curl, but keep the wrist straight as possible and be sure not to have these elbows back. If we have those elbows back here and we're curling up sometimes, we may add too much pressure on the front of the shoulder and that involve that rotator cuff area. Okay, so to help prevent that again, is slow and controlled movement. Elbows stay pinned by the side, but they're not in the side, dug in like so, okay? You see my shoulders, how they do this. If I pin them into the side, we wanna be out. Elbows, when we say you pin them to the side, that means be in line just ever so slightly with that rib cage, flexing those biceps, squeeze nice and hard on the top, and really focus on that contraction at the top again, keeping wrists straight as possible. That is another reason why clients will commonly feel wrist pain and a bicep curl, because when you're curling up, get closer here, you see some clients will do this. When you're coming down with that curl, the hand will do this number, and you don't want to do that. Always keep this wrist nice and straight as possible through the duration of that curl, through the bottom of a curl, even through the top of a curl. So think about getting the pinky and that ring finger towards the front of that shoulder. Front delt is what you're aiming for when you come to the top of that curl. So bam, again, like on a bicep curl. Elbow stays by side, shoulders back, core is tight. Again, getting that pinky and ring finger, aiming it towards the inside of my shoulder to really focus on that bicep head there. You see that, guys? All right, so again, make sure you're keeping the wrist straight. Shoulders back, knees are softly bent, core is engaged. Exhale, always important part, breathing out through those reps. Again, slow and controlled matter. You don't want to be swinging these weights whatsoever. All right, fam, so I hope that helps you out, guys. Trainer Tip Tuesday, bicep curls. Hope that helps you out. Let me know what else, guys, you want to see or hear from. From Coach Paul, help you out, guys. Let's get that form down so we can feel those muscles, make those gains, get stronger, get better. 1% better every single day. Have a good one, guys.